hi guys welcome back to my channel um if you're new here welcome and hello in today's video i'm going to be doing a review of this airbrush mini machine from igl beauty so if you're interested sit back and watch and we're going to go ahead and jump right into this video Okay, so right now I'm just showing you guys um, everything that comes in the box. So I'm not going to do too much talking in this video. Uh, in the beginning anyway, as I get further into the video, um, I'll start to tell you my thoughts and what I actually am doing to get the, um, the system, the machine to work. Okay, so right here, I'm just um, attaching that top piece to the base. Okay, so right now I'm showing you all the things that I'm going to be using. As you saw, you do need acetone if you're using um, gel polish. And I'm using this little dropper that came with it. And I'm pointing at 2 mLs. So that's how much acetone I use to put into um, that little container. And I got that little container from um, Dollar Tree. And now I'm going to be taking my gel polish. And I use two drops. Um... Of that color in there and then I mixed it up I used the old brush so if you guys have an old brush make sure you use that something that you don't care about um, getting messed up It's very important that you guys mix that color up really, really good. Now, when I used this, I realized that um, the ratio between the acetone and the um, gel polish wasn't enough. So you'll see me adding more in here. Um, at the end, I didn't use this. I end up um, doing it a different way. So you guys will see that um, in the video. Okay, so I have five tips polished and that first one to the left, then the middle, and then the one on the far right, I um, apply a matte top on top of those. And then the other two, I just left it with the, um, I believe I left it with the tacky residue on it, if I'm not mistaken. And I did that because I wanted to see how, um, it applied to the surface um, which one would be um, which one would give me a better a better finished product so um, I took that a mixture that I showed you guys and I poured it into that little top spout now this particular way did not work for me the mixture was off so um, I will be showing you uh, me using it this way and then I figure out another way that works best okay so right now I'm trying to figure out how to use this machine um, 
I will tell you this. I don't believe there's any video that can actually tell you the best way. It's something that you're gonna have to figure out on your own. Um, the ratio, I could tell you, I got that down to a science. <laughs> what actually worked for me. Um, as far as the adjustments on the machine, you're gonna have to kind of play with that because it's not like they have a number where I can tell you, okay, we'll turn this little nozzle to this number. Um, push the button twice or three times and it'll work best. And I'm pretty sure it's gonna probably depend on the type of gel polish that you're using. All I can say is just play with your machine and don't give up. I was fortunate that I didn't have to struggle with it to get it right. So I am gonna uh, continue to keep practicing with it because I actually do like this machine a lot. And I think I'm going to get a lot of use out of it. But um, I say it's a good investment. Okay, so right here I'm adding more um, gel polish. Because I didn't like um, the results that I was getting when I was spraying it. Okay, so now I'm taking my brush. And I'm going to um, go inside that little um, spout where all the polish and stuff is being held. And I'm going to mix it in. I'm sorry I'm out of frame. Um, it was so hard to kind of record this and make sure that I was in frame because you know sometimes you're so used to bringing items closer to you so you can see so I do apologize um, in advance <laughs> of how many times that I'm probably going to be out of frame with this but like I said I'm not going to do too much editing because I wanted you guys to kind of see um, up front you know what all I went through to get this to work. Okay, so I did notice um, when using this machine that you wanna be kinda um, far away. You don't wanna be, not too far, but you don't wanna be so close with it either. Um, and kind of go back and forth in a um, back and forth motion with it. So all the um, polish won't be so concentrated in one area. Um, I was trying to do like a, a kind of a ombre fade on this just to see. Like I said, this is my first time using this machine. So I'm trying to figure it out as I go. So you're just basically seeing me try all different types of things to get this to work. Um, I'm still adding polish in there because I'm trying to uh, thicken it up a little bit more because I believe it's too loose. And every time I add it, I'll take my brush and I'll go inside that little spout and um, make sure I mix it up. So you're going to see me fumble. <laughs> but uh, overall, um, I get it. And I was excited when I got it. So just keep on watching. Okay, so I was just testing the um, machine out on the paper towel. It wasn't coming out like I wanted to. So right there, I showed you that back piece. And I noticed when I adjusted that, the flow of the polish came out um, more concentrated. So that's why I was saying, like, there's no way to kind of tell you how many times to turn it there's no number on that to tell you oh turn it to this and it's going to give you the best results and as you can see i got more color to come out so once i figured that out and then the ratio of the polish to acetone then i was good to go um after that it was just like smooth sailing for me so just keep watching Okay, so right now I put the tip inside of my um, lamp to cure it. 
and I'm going to test it just to make sure that um, it's dry but that's what it's looking like right now I am going to show you all five tips um, I have five different colors that I use so um, you're going to see um, what they look like and right now I'm just going back in and I'm fading that color in some more like I said I was trying to go for a little ombre look just trying to figure out if you know um, how to make that look I eventually will cover up that whole tip though it's not going to be pink and white uh, it's going to be more concentrated you know ombre dark at the bottom and lighter at the top but uh, overall I kind of like how these came out I was uh, really pleased with the results Okay, so now I'm going to go in and cure that, and then I'm going to show you me um, cleaning the machine out. Okay, so now I'm going to spread all that remaining color onto the paper towel, and then once it's all out, I'm going to clean it, and what I'll do is I'll add some acetone in that spout, and then I'll spray it out until I don't see any more color transferring over onto the paper towel. So that's how you clean it. So you want to make sure that you clean it out each and every time that you're done with it because you do not want that to dry up inside your machine and potentially mess your machine up. Okay, so this is the finished look. And as you can see, it's ombre. I'm just testing it out to make sure that it was completely dry. And then I'm gonna move on to a, another tip. And like I said, when I did those um, tips, I left some of them matte and then some of them, I just applied the white polish and I didn't do anything to the top of it. So that first tip that I done was actually over a matte. And this one is just the, um, the polish itself. So now I'm showing you that I'm going to go in and I'm going to use my dropper. And I'm going to use that to um, add the acetone to the spout. Okay, so I added three drops of acetone. And now I'm taking my next color and I'm doing two drops of that color. And then I'll take that brush and I'm going to mix it completely. This is my ratio. Three drops of acetone first to two drops of whatever color gel polish that you're going to use. So now I'm just testing the color out and making sure it comes out onto the paper towel. And you want to do that every time you get ready to switch your colors out. You want to make sure that um, the machine is working. Okay, so you can see the difference in how the color looks on this particular one versus the first one that I did. And that's because I adjusted the back um, piece on the airbrush machine. And then I figured out my, um, my polish to acetone ratio. And once I got that, it worked it smoothly. So now I'm just going to go in and cure that part and then I'll come back. And I'm going to apply more color into the spout. And like I said, it's three drops of acetone. 
to two drops of um, gel polish and then I'll take my brush I'll mix it in really good and then I'll test it out on a paper towel to make sure that it's flowing out and then I'm going to go in and I'm going to finish that nail off now I will um, eventually speed this um, video up because after this it's just the same process I'm just doing different colors and testing them out and see what I like now I will say try to well I ain't gonna say try hopefully you guys are watching to the end because I did mess up on one of the nails and I want you guys to see exactly what I did wrong um I was noticing what I was doing at the time but you'll see so if you stay to the end of the video you'll see that Okay, so I did notice the one to the right is the one that I had applied the matte top coat on. And to me, it looked like the color went on smoother on that finish versus the other one. Um, it kind of looked a little specky on the blue one. But um, not too bad considering, like I said, this was my first time using this machine. So I think with a little bit more practice, I'll figure out... Um, what exactly I like best um, but like I said it's just something that you're gonna have to play around with with um, the adjustments on the machine now I do know that they have like two speeds for this like when you press the button the first time it comes on the second time I believe it's a slower speed and then the third time you press it it pushes out more and then the trigger on the top depending on how much pressure you apply, is gonna determine how much comes out. So you guys, if you have this machine and it didn't work for you, practice with it, just play with it until you get it right. Cause I promise you, once you figure it out, it's gonna be, um, it's gonna be good. So yeah, so from this point on guys, I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm going to fast forward through this because like I said, it's gonna be the same process all over again. Uh, I do mess up on one of the nails, so if you stay to the um, to the end of this video, you will see that. okay so if you made it to this part of the video thank you so much that means you watched it from the beginning and i appreciate you rocking with me and staying with me so 
this is the color that I'm gonna mess up on guys and I'm gonna tell you what I did wrong if you do nails on a regular basis then you know when you're applying gel polish to your nails you can't apply it too thick because when you put it in the light it won't cure well guess what it works the same way with the airbrush machine <laughs> so when I was doing this particular color I sprayed entirely too much in one spot so it was very very concentrated in that area so when I went to cure it and I brought the um, the tip out I noticed um, that it was peeling it had rippled on the sides of the nail so that's an indication that the tip the tip wasn't completely dry um, the polish was too was applied too thick so it's the same thing with the airbrush machine so I got a little happy um, when I did this color <laughs> I guess I was feeling myself I thought I knew what I was doing <laughs> so you know um, so hey it happens to the best of us um, it's a learning a learning thing so now I know that you can't over saturate the nail with the um, airbrush machine now I will tell you this even though when you're spraying this it does come out like a mist and sometimes it looks like it doesn't um, that it's not coming out and it actually is just like when you, when you spray it on your paper towel sometimes you can't really see the color because it's so fine um, what I did notice is that has everything to do with the adjustment so that little piece that's on the back of that handle the top part and when you pull the level to release the polish that plays a part in how much color you see so if you um, have it too loose that's more color that's going to come out if you pull the little trigger back um, all the way that's going to produce more color so like I said it's something that you just have to play around with for me I was doing the same steps I just kept um, spraying too much in that one particular area so when it was time to dry it, it didn't dry completely. Okay, so right now you're saying it looks good, it looks good, but no ma'am, no ma'am, no it's not. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to show you guys um, what happened with this, but right now, so these are all five colors, and I absolutely love how they came out. I mean, for my first try, I think I did very, very good. Um, I'm definitely, definitely excited that I bought this. So right now I'm going to go in and I'm going to apply my um, top coat from my polish. And um, I'll be showing you what they all look like once they're cured. And then I'll show you that polish that was not completely dry. Because right now it looks like it's fine. But trust me, it's not. So just keep watching. okay guys so this is where I noticed that the polish wasn't completely dry so as you can see when I move it um, it starts to peel up now the first layer that I did of course was dry but it was when I went in the second time to finish this look off that it didn't um, completely dry because it was too much um, polish on there so even with the airbrush machine the rule still applies with um, gel polish that you want to go in with thin layers so I left this um, clip in because I wanted you guys to see that um, you know the mistake that I did make even though in the beginning I did such a great I think I did a great job on it but you know it you know everything's a learning curve so I'm kind of glad that it happened because I'd rather to 
learn it now than to actually do it on somebody's nails and then have to go back and fix the problem. So these are the four nails that I did apply the um, not polish top coat on. And guys, I'm gonna tell you right now, I love not polish um, glossy top coat. Uh, it is the best by far that I've tried. <coughs> Excuse me. So um, yeah, so this is the finished look. And overall, I absolutely loved it. And that purple was pretty good. I started to polish it anyway, but I was like, nah, I'm not gonna waste my polish on it. So I'm just gonna leave it like that so you guys can see what it looks like. So if you stay to the end of this video, thank you so much. And if you're new here and you haven't subscribed, what are you waiting on for? It's free. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Um, thank you to everybody that has recently subscribed to my channel. I appreciate you. And of course, I appreciate the people that's been rocking with me. And if you have any comments or questions, please feel free to leave it at the bottom. And I'll do my best to get back to you as soon as I can. Okay, so right now I'm just showing you guys the machine itself. Um, I did clean it out already. And like I said, this piece in the back that I'm turning, this is what I had to do to adjust um, how much of the polish um, comes out. So you have to play with that. Those are your adjustments as well as that trigger piece right there. Um, it depends on how far back you go. It's going to produce um, how much color is going to come out. Um, I'm going to show you once again. You know, you need your acetone. You need um, your gel polish or whatever colors that you're going to use. And that little dropper actually came in handy because I just used that to... Um, put it into the machine and like I said the ratio that I had that worked best for me was three drops of acetone to two drops of whatever color that you're going to use gel polish and then I took that old brush that I had and I made sure that I mix it up very very um, well and that's it so that's your hand piece and you can see that I really put this machine to use <laughs> I want to clean that up because that looks so tacky right now but yeah, so that's it. So like I said, I enjoyed this. I hope you guys enjoyed this. And if you stayed this long and you haven't subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Don't forget to hit that notification bell so you'll know, be notified each and every time I upload a video. And go ahead and give this video a thumbs up if you like it. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace out.